Hey everybody, this is Jay with Tart Nation, your Southern Fried Kilt Adventure. How's everybody doing? Um, anyway, today I said I was going to go ahead and do a head-to-head -head comparison of Utilikilts versus Buykilt.com's product that they've got out. Um, so, anyway, I've got three ups and three downs for each kilt. Uh, so, we're going to go ahead and start off with Utilikilt. Now, this is my Utilikilt. It's the brown Utilikilt. You've seen me wear it on occasion. Um, the first upside is pockets. See? Pockets. Nice, big pockets. Now, um, the, you usually don't get pockets on kilts. That's kind of the thing. Um, with these, you get nice, big pockets. I have a small Acer laptop, and I can actually slide that Acer laptop down in that pocket. And it fits just fine. I can carry it around with me, and it's great. Now, the downside, unfortunately, and yeah, I have to read this off of the card because my memory is not that great, um, is the price. Utilikilts cost a lot of money. Um, this Utilikilt right here probably cost me about $150 to $200, and that's just what it is. Uh, Utilikilts are a popular item, so they tend to be a little bit pricier than other kilts. Now, the upside is also... Utilikilts are very light. They're a great summertime kilt. Um, you're not going to die wearing these because they're very lightweight material and you know you just don't get real hot in them. Uh, the thing is the downside is also that they're very lightweight material and I have had more embarrassing blow-ups and the world has seen more of Jay than they probably wanted to see wearing a Utilikilt in a high wind. So, um, we did, uh, the first photo shoot that we did down at, um, was that Bridge Street was actually, um, it was a very windy day, and I was very glad that I was wearing my, uh, buy a kilt, kilt, and not a, uh, utility kilt, because, yeah, it could have got real embarrassing real fast. Uh, let's see. The other downside for utility kilt, uh, well, actually, good side, uh, it's a nice modern look. So, if you're somebody who you don't know what clan you belong to, or you're somebody who's afraid of things like cultural appropriation, stuff like that, you don't have to worry about it because utilikilts are one color, um, no tartans, etc., etc. And you know you, you can definitely say it's an American product. It was made in the USA. Um, no tartans, nothing like that that might scare somebody off. Uh, let's see. The downside to that is that sometimes somebody could mistake it for a dress. So somebody, to look at it, might think that you're actually wearing a skirt and not a kilt. So sometimes you have to stop and explain things to people who don't know any better. So the three thumbs up for the Utilikilt would be it has pockets. Um, it's a nice light summer kilt and it's a good modern good looking kilt. The downsides for it are the price. It is pricey. Um, a little too light. Uh, stiff wind can show other stiff things and uh, can be confused for a dress on occasions if you're not watching. Uh, so now I'm gonna go ahead and come over here to my uh, buykilt.com kilt. Now this is actually um, don't know if you can see it. I've had to turn on the lights because the sunlight was a little too much in here. But uh, this is actually my black watch kilt. And uh, the things about the uh, buykilt.com kilt, uh, first off, upside, is the price. Um, I got my buykilt.com kilt for less than $100. And I actually got a kilt and a sporin for I think it was like $107, $108. I think it was like $115 after shipping and everything. Um, that also the shipping is really fast. They ship through DHL and DHL got here in I think about four days and that's coming from Scotland whereas my Utilikilt took about a week to get here from California and that went by UPS. Um, another great thing about those is they're nice and heavy like I was saying. Uh, they laugh at a stiff wind and uh, you can't beat that because like I said nobody wants to have a blow up in a kilt and uh, you know it's just a bad thing all around. Now, the downside to it being nice and heavy is it's hot. It's really hot. 
Um, I wore them around on some of the hottest days this summer, and I nearly died. <laughs> about to bloody melt. Uh, so, you know, it's not... I don't want to say it's not a summer kilt, but it's one that you'd definitely be more, more comfortable in in the wintertime. Um, let's see. Now, the good side to it is the customer service. I have really loved the customer service coming from buyakilt.com. Because uh, even after buying my kilt... Um, there was sort of aftercare that buyakilt.com did. Um, they basically, they sent me an email saying, how do you like the kilt? Are there any problems? Is there anything you'd like to change? Blah, blah, blah. And, uh, which I didn't get that from Utilikilt. Utilikilt just sent me the kilt and sent me on my way. Um, let's see. I'm trying to think. I lost my card for this one. Uh, let's see. But, well, give me just one second. Okay, found my card. Alright, so... Uh, it's uh, inexpensive, like I said, less than $100 for sporin and kilt. Um, downsize, it's hot. Um, upside, it's good looking. It's a nice, good looking kilt. Um, you're not going to look bad in this kilt. It's got a nice sort of sway and flounce that you want to have with a kilt. Um, the utility kilts don't necessarily have that. Um, and it probably took about three or four washings before all the sizing and starch went out of my kilt, which was great. I loved it. Uh, let's see. A down, the other, last downside is mine is too long. Now, I'm 5'8". And the thing is, is when you're 5'8", everything is too long. <laughs> and uh, the thing is, is a lot of people say that the hem of your kilt should be somewhere around the top of your knees. Well, the thing is, if I wear my, uh, my buy kilt um where it would be at the top of my knees, it would be about nipples level, which would just look funny. And, uh, hello, kitty. Um, yeah, so I'm short, so it's a little bit longer, but I like my kilts a little bit longer because sometimes my kilt doesn't necessarily come all the way up under me, and that can be embarrassing in and of itself. But that's a story for another time. Uh, let's see. <clears throat> I said four days from Scotland, customer aftercare, um... Limited tartan choice. Um, if you go to the buykilt.com uh, webpage, they only have certain tartans that you can pick from, um, which I guess is okay. Uh, but I was really looking for a clan Douglas because that's one of the clans that my family supposedly is, because uh, according to legend, we were weavers that came across to Scotland uh, from Sweden, and we were accepted into several clans around. Um, but yeah, uh, I'm going to say on this one, um, in my opinion, the buykilt.com kilt definitely won out as far as uh, customer service, um, asking me what I thought. Um, it's a great product. Um, it looks good. Now, the Utilikilt, I still love my Utilikilt, but um, I'm just loving the buykilt.com kilt a lot more. Uh, let's see. So anyway, um, thumbs up to buykilt.com. You do a great job. Great product, great work, great customer service. I would recommend buykilt.com to just about anybody. Uh, let's see. So that being out of the way. Other news, Joe got back from the con. Uh, that would be Dragon Con last week. And he's having post-con compression. Um, he's wishing he could be back at the con, having fun, um, running around in his barbarian suit. <laughs> um, I didn't go this year because well, I didn't have the money I didn't have the time. Well, I had the time, just didn't have the money. But... <laughs> Um, Joe has actually got a friend up in Tennessee, and we're probably going to go and see him after a while. He's got a lot of Scottish historical stuff that he wants to show up, uh, show off. So we're probably going to go up there probably in the next couple of months and um, have him show off his stuff. We're going to do a video about it. Uh, let's see. I may be working for my dad. And uh, like I said, um, you guys who've been watching these videos know that one of the reasons I'm doing this is for cancer research, but most, um, mostly for my dad, because my dad is a cancer sufferer. He's doing really well, though. So um, I'm probably going to be doing stuff around his house, like mowing the yard, weed eating, fixing things around the house, you know, stuff that he just doesn't have the strength to do right now, because when you get zapped by radiation and stuff for most of the day, you just don't want to do anything else, from what I'm saying. Um... I think that's going to be it from my end right now. Um, hopefully I can get Joe to talk on a podcast at some point. Other than just saying, nope, that's all I got. Uh, let's see, trying to think, is there anything else I need to tell anybody? 
Well, I think that's going to be it. Well, anyway, y'all take it easy. Keep them breezy. Take care now.